welcome to chemistry lover and uh, this is really after a long time almost two three months uh, i'm making video <coughs> and uh, i got few comments from you that i'm not making videos for a long time so i was busy for several things first of all there was some work in my lab research work and then uh, as you know i recently got a job and i have all this joining all these things settlement all these things so i was busy still now i'm busy with new setup and all these things so after uh, one or two weeks maybe i will be able to make regular videos for you but this is a short video for you uh, i was also uh, restless to make video and uh, but I, I, I was not getting time so I just thought that let let make something uh, which may help you so today's video is about uh, MCPPA versus H2O2 right or you can also put MCPPA and H2O2 versus or and both are fine why you will see it so uh, MCPBA is metachloroparbenzoic acid so this is our metachloroparbenzoic acid MCPP and H2O2 is H2O2 now uh, they both are epoxidizing reagent right but the substrate on which they do epoxidation is different uh, in these two different cases so their purpose is to form uh, epoxide starting from alkene so if you have some alkene if you apply either of these two uh, it will form epoxide but uh, let's say you have this alkene where you have electron donating group this methyl groups you can consider electron donating so then what you have to apply and when you have this uh, alpha beta unsaturated um, carbonyl compounds and you want to do epoxidation over here then what you have to do so in this case the epoxidation product is this one so in this case what you have to do that is the question so these two are chemoselective reagents so here we are talking about chemoselectivity chemo selectivity so the H2O2 and MCPPA they are chemoselective reagents now to and to know which uh, which epoxidizing agent we have to use in which condition we should know the mechanism of these two reactions first of all what is the mechanism for MCPPA now let me tell you that with electron rich substituents we have to use MCPPA but why so the answer lies in the mechanism in case of MCPBA, the mechanism we can represent like this. Uh, this is our MCPBA. Okay, here you have this hydrogen. Yeah. Now what will happen here is here this alkene will attack on this oxygen, and this bond will break. This bond will eventually break and it will take the take the hydrogen and now this bond will form bond over here so the transition state we can show like this so this is our alkene here this bond is breaking and a new bond is forming with this oxygen another bond is forming with the oxygen so this is one bond and this is another bond right and now this bond is also breaking here a new bond is forming here you have double bond so this bond is breaking here this bond is breaking and this bond is forming so you have this benzene ring so this is the transition state of the reaction 
and out of this transition state what you will get is you will get this product so this is your product now in this case if you look into this attack what actually happening here is so this is your alkene and this is the pi orbital and this is the homo of alkene homo of alkene this is bonding pi orbital filled with two electrons and for this OO bond of this peroxide for this OO bond of this peroxide what you have here is you have this sigma star you have this sigma star so in one case you have pi star and in another case you have the sigma star so this is the thing sorry in one case you have pi and in another case uh, sorry 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 you have this sigma star right so here the reaction is occurring or the bond is forming between this pi orbital and the sigma star orbital so this sigma star here is the lumo right and that means for uh, in this case the alkene or or the homo of the alkene is acting as nucleophile nucleophile this is a nucleophile it is attacking so this is a nucleophile so in this case this alkene is actually the nucleophile and this epoxidizing agent is electrophile so this is sigma star this is electrophile so that's why we call it electrophilic epoxidation electrophilic epoxidation so in this case electrophilic epoxidation is occurring and now you can uh, you can easily understand that if you have more electron rich alkene it will attack m faster right because it will increase the energy of the homo that will favor the attack on the lumo or the sigma star orbital so in case of electrophilic epoxidation reaction uh, if you have more electron rich alkene the reaction will occur in a more fast way or in a faster way so that means uh, for electron rich alkene we have to use this metachloroparbenzoic acid now let us see what is the mechanism in case of uh, H2O2 so in case of H2O2 for this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl groups which are electron deficient we have to use H2O2 and not only H2O2 actually the reagent combination is H2O2 plus NaOH or uh, hydroxylic hyd peroxide right so in this case when you mix H2O2 plus NaOH what you will get is you will get OOH minus so this hydroperoxide and this hydroperoxide is actually the active reagent over here so in this case what will happen is very simple this hydroperoxide will attack over here so this is a 1,4 addition 1,4 addition first step is 1 for addition and then you have this O O H now when this enolate push this O minus come back this will attack over here and this O H will go so from here you will get this this thing right so this is the product and this is the mechanism now in this case if you look this uh, lone pair on oxygen this is acting as homo and here this pi star this pi star is actually the lumo so in this case this hydroperoxide is acting as nucleophile and this alkene is acting as electrophile so that's why this is called nucleophilic epoxidation right and that means if you have more electron deficient alkene the reaction will be faster so that's why in case of electron deficient alkene we have to use H2O2OH minus so it is now clear that for electron rich alkene we have to use MCPBA and for electron uh, 
poor or electron deficient alkene we have to use H2O2 OH minus so this is the chemoselectivity of these two reagents and uh, this is a very popular reagent many questions are asked from this particular uh, topic i hope that this video will help you thank you for watching